Ladies and gentlemen, an absolute shocker. Cliff Kingsbury is no longer going to be the offensive coordinator of the Raiders. He has officially pulled out on the job. We'll talk about some other interesting candidates that could be emerging. However, this is embarrassing and it's not going to stop there. The Raiders are going to have to deal with a very humiliating Super Bowl inside Allegiant Stadium. And the details are even uglier than it looks on the outside. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss a video from me, Wi-Fi. Willie. So breaking news, Cliff Kingsbury has officially pulled out as offensive coordinator of the Raiders. This is embarrassing for the Raiders, and this is Antonio Pierce, the head coach. This is his first L. You got Raiders media, JT the Brick, the same guy that used to say, trust me, Josh McDaniels did not lose the locker room, trust me. You got this guy blaming the media for announcing that Cliff Kingsbury was the offensive coordinator. He's claiming that everybody's too quick to report the news. But the people he's really blaming are Adam Schefter and Ian Rappaport the top NFL insiders in the world who always announce something when it's official. So I'm not quite sure who this guy is blaming here, but I think the gist of it is that this is very embarrassing for the Raiders what has happened. And so he's trying to blame the media and cover it up to hide exactly what's going on here with Cliff Kingsbury and the Raiders. Why did this guy who was a lock to join the Raiders as their offensive coordinator, why did he suddenly pull out? Obviously the deal was not officially signed when it was originally announced, but both sides, according to the athletic Vic Tafer, thought it was was a formality. And the key thing that is really important here is that Cliff Kingsbury was the Raiders number one target at offensive coordinator. They interviewed several other people, some people who were still not hired and they wanted Cliff Kingsbury. It makes sense because he has had success developing quarterbacks and he's considered one of the more creative modern offensive minds in the NFL. A lot of people aren't giving too many details as to what happened. You have Peter Schrager saying that contract negotiations came undone in the last 24 hours, obviously. And then he let members of the Raiders organization know that he's no longer down, but nobody's saying exactly why. Adam Schefter is saying contract talks broke down, but why exactly did they break down? Was money an issue? Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated is saying that a contractual hangup led there to be an opening on Cliff Kingsbury and the commanders swooped in. So Cliff Kingsbury looks to be going to the commanders instead. Is it really about money? Ted Wynn, a staff writer of The Athletic, is bringing up a very good point that there's no salary cap for coaches. So if he's your guy, if he's your number one target at offensive coordinator, you just go ahead and pay that guy. Keep in mind, Josh McDaniels was the most expensive offensive coordinator when he was with the Patriots, around $4 million a year. So what if you had to make Cliff Kingsbury the most expensive offensive coordinator? It would only be up to $4 million a year. And there's no salary cap when it comes to coaches. Mark Davis could have given him the money. It doesn't seem like Mark Davis would be afraid to pay. He has an inexperienced head coach right now. So obviously you're going to have to pay more for coordinators if you want to have a competitive team. But we talked about Caleb Williams the other day and the fact that the Raiders were going to land Cliff Kingsbury. Everybody thought it was a sign to trade up for Caleb Williams because Cliff Kingsbury had just worked with the guy this past year at USC. Now it looks more like the Washington Commanders, since they are set to hire Cliff Kingsbury, are in a better position to draft Caleb Williams, maybe trade up with the Chicago Bears. So it seems like maybe Cliff is going there for that reason. The Raiders are picking at pick 13. They would have to give a massive haul in order to go up, and it's hard to imagine that the Commanders or the Bears would not be interested in somebody like Caleb Williams. It seems like we're not going to know the real reason why talks broke down. Was it the ability to get Caleb Williams or, and this is something that I know a lot of Raiders fans don't want to hear, but this is the truth of the matter. Is it an ego thing? And is it going to be difficult for Antonio Pierce to find an offensive coordinator to have somebody work underneath him, even though they have more experience than him? Cliff Kingsbury was just recently a head coach in the NFL in 2022. He's had tons of more NFL experience than and Antonio Pierce. It is going to be difficult to find a guy like this, a guy who wants to come back and be a head coach in the NFL. It is going to be difficult to convince them to be a subordinate to somebody who has less experience in them. That's the truth. Those are the facts. Patrick Graham is only with the Raiders right now because nobody hired him as a head coach and the Raiders blocked his ability to interview anywhere else as a defensive coordinator. So he's basically stuck. Now what's next for the Raiders? What can Antonio Pierce do in this moment? He needs to find an offensive coordinator. The guy that he wanted ghosted him, dipped out on him, and left him on red. And now the Raiders may be looking at Luke Getze, who was the Bears offensive coordinator, but then got fired. I'm sorry, I would not be stoked about that at all whatsoever. And look, the guys who are available right now are the people who were chosen last in the pickup basketball game. Yes, it's the overweight kids, it's the nerdy kids, it's the people that nobody wants. And that's why this sucks for the Raiders, because I thought Cliff Kingsbury was going to be a freaking dope hire. I thought Antonio Pierce was going to hit it out of the park, but now 
now the Raiders are one of the few teams without an offensive coordinator in the NFL right now. But a big hire that the Raiders could grab right now is none other than Eric Bieniemy. Eric Bieniemy has interviewed with the Raiders, according to Jeremy Fowler. This guy has tons of offensive coordinator experience, obviously with the Commanders and with the Kansas City Chiefs, and he knows Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes intimately. I think this guy has the experience, could provide some good intel against a division rival, and obviously the Chiefs are one of the more successful offenses in the NFL, and if he could take some of those creative plays to Vegas, I think that would be great. At the same time, this guy has always been salty about the fact that he has not been hired as a head coach. He has even blamed racism to a certain extent as to why he is not currently a head coach in the NFL. That is kind of why he went to the Commanders to prove that he could run an offense by himself without Andy Reid. Obviously, the Commanders coaching staff has been completely fired, but Eric Bieniemy was able to do some decent things with Sam Howell, a late round pick quarterback. Here's my thing, though. If the guy's already upset about the fact that he's not a head coach in the NFL, just like Cliff Kingsbury, is he really going to be down to be a subordinate to Antonio Pierce, even though he thinks he should be a head coach? And how is he going to be able to take orders from a guy who has two years of NFL coaching experience? And that is why I think the Raiders are going to have to go in this certain direction. They've interviewed a couple other people, nothing certain yet, but Chip Kelly was a candidate for the Raiders, somebody that Antonio Pierce did talk to a couple of times. The former UCLA head coach and San Francisco 49ers head coach for just one season, I think is the candidate who the Raiders are going to land. He's an older guy trying to go back into the NFL after being at college for quite some time. Unlike Cliff Kingsbury, he does not have recent head coaching experience, so I think he would not feel bad taking orders from Antonio Pierce. Plus, the Raiders did nab Deshaun Foster as their running back coach. He's one of Chip Kelly's assistants over there from UCLA last year. It seems like it makes sense for them to hire Chip Kelly at this point, since they're already hiring some of his position coaches. Cliff Kingsbury dipping out the Raiders was humiliating, but it's not as bad as what's going to happen in just a week or so. The Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco freaking 49ers are going to be playing in Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. And this is absolutely humiliating. Of course, the Chiefs and the Niners are literally playing in a home playoff game before the Raiders were able to in Allegiant Stadium. And if the Chiefs win, because you know the NFL wants the Swifties to win it, where Travis Kelsey proposes to Taylor with all the confetti in the sky, right? That's what they want to happen for the highest ratings. Literally, the Chiefs are set to win a Super Bowl in Allegiant Stadium before the Raiders. And this is not even the worst part about it. Keep in mind, they got to practice in the facility before the Super Bowl. And while the Chiefs are practicing in the Raiders' great facilities, the Raiders are going to be locked out. What a thing for the Raiders to have to turn over the keys to their practice facility uh. to the Chiefs. And they can take no solace in the fact that they can root for the 49ers because the Raiders hate the 49ers as much or more than they hate the Chiefs. Yeah. It's the worst yeah. possible matchup for the, for the Raiders. It's going to be brutal. And in the times that they are in the other team's building, the other team has to abandon the building. They can't be in there. So Mark Davis is making tons of money with the Super Bowl in Vegas, but this is absolutely just really like, honestly, I, I, I don't think I'm even going to personally watch the Super Bowl. I, I think I'm just going to sit it out. <laughs> In 2019, when it was Chiefs versus Niners, because I lived in the Bay Area for over 10 years, cannot stand the San Francisco 49ers, even though I got some great friends who are Niners fans. But for the 2019 Super Bowl, I literally didn't watch it. Chiefs versus Niners, I just played Madden instead. And now the Chiefs and Niners are inside our facilities practicing right now. This is even worse. And I just hope, I just hope the Raiders are going to be like the classic Raiders, the silver and black that I know. If John Gruden was head coach of the Raiders still right now, I guarantee there would be booby traps. Maybe he'd shut the power off in the middle of the night. He would do something to the Chiefs and the Niners. I wouldn't mind some sprinklers going off in the locker room to mess up Taylor Swift's makeup. We know she's got a shit done on. <laughs> Antonio Pierce has to get an elevator to malfunction. He's got to do something to fight back against this disgrace. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments below and let me know what you would do, Raiders fans. What would you do? What would you set up right before you hand the keys to the Kansas City Chiefs? Remember to subscribe to the channel for more NFL content from me, Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.